This group contains three main lines, the eels, the tarpons, and the halosaurs. Although they look and behave differently as adults, they all start life as transparent larvae, leptocephalus larvae. These long, thin larvae may drift in ocean currents for several years before adulthood. Most eels are marine, but a few live mainly in freshwater and return to sea to breed. Tarpons are largely confined to coastal areas of the tropics, while halosaurs occur in oceans worldwide, down to depths of 6,000 feet, 1,800 meters. Eels are elongated and snake-like. The spinal column consists of more than 100 vertebrae, which makes the body very flexible. Long dorsal and anal fins may extend most of the length of the body, and the pelvic, pectoral, and tail fins are often very small or lost entirely. Most eels are scaleless, but some species have fine scales embedded in their skin. Tarpons look more like other fishes than like eels. Their bodies are deeper and less elongated, with large, reflective scales, and well-developed and differentiated fins. The halosaurs, however, are more eel-like in shape. With a large head that tapers into a tubular body and elongated tail. They are covered in small scales and have reduced fins, some of which have sharp spines. The breeding cycles of some eels involve remarkable migrations. Most marine eels spawn near where they live, but freshwater eels and some marine species have separate spawning grounds, usually far out to sea. For example, North American and European eels, both of which live in freshwater lakes and rivers, travel over 4,000 miles 6, kilometers, to different parts of the Sargasso Sea in the Western Atlantic. It is thought that during this journey, which takes four to seven months, they do not eat. Instead, they survive by consuming stored fat and muscle tissue. They may also absorb nutrients through the lining of their mouth. Spawning occurs in deep water, after which the adults die. The leptocephalus larvae are carried passively toward coastal waters by ocean currents. After about three years, they develop fins, scales, and pigmentation before beginning their journey upriver to the areas where they grow as adults. Tarpons, halosaurs, and most species of eel are predators. The fast-swimming tarpons use speed to catch other fishes. Eels are more likely to ambush their prey, using rocks or reef crevices for cover. Many eels have long, sharp teeth for seizing prey, others have thickened teeth for crushing shells. A few species filter feed, and some search the bottom for buried prey or scavenge on dead animals. Deep-sea gulper eels have gigantic mouths and distensible stomachs, and can eat prey much larger than themselves. Halosaurs feed on invertebrates. This deep-sea fish is one of the most unusual of eels, with a thin, tapering body, but enormous jaws equipped with tiny teeth. Its huge gape and expandable stomach enable it to swallow and digest fishes almost as large as itself. Due to its odd shape and fragile build, the gulper eel is almost certainly a poor swimmer and may not pursue other fishes. Instead, it probably relies heavily on the luminescent organ at the tip of its tail to attract prey. Marais are thick-bodied and often powerful eels that typically lurk in clefts in rocks or coral with only their heads showing. These fishes have no pectoral or pelvic fins. There are over 100 species, and many, including the zebra moray, are brightly colored. This snake-like fish has a long, cylindrical, highly muscular body, and a large mouth with blunt and pebble-like teeth, adapted for crushing prey. It usually adopts a lie and wait feeding technique, and typically lurks in rock or coral crevices, lunging out to catch its prey. However, it may occasionally leave its hole at night in search of prey. The zebra moray feeds on large and heavily armored prey, particularly crabs and other crustaceans, found around reefs. There is evidence that it can eat larger crabs than other marais of comparable size. An aggressive fish, it is known to defend its territory strongly against intruders. Some marais, although not necessarily this species, are noted for the presence of toxins on their skin. This common European fish has a remarkable life history. Adults are believed to spawn in the area of the Sargasso Sea, the larvae being transported over a period of 22 years to European coastal waters by ocean currents. There they metamorphose into cylindrical, unpigmented glass eels before entering rivers in their millions, as silvery, pigmented juveniles called elvers. The freshwater stage is a feeding and growing phase, as the eel matures sexually, it moves toward the sea. Mature silver eels undertake their spawning migration usually from late summer to winter and mainly on dark, moonless, stormy nights. At this stage, the eyes enlarge, the snout becomes more narrow and pointed, and the pectoral fins more lance-shaped, changes that are adaptations to the ocean's depths. As with all true eels, the European eel's skin appears scaleless, and a single long fin runs down its back, 
around the tail, and along its underside. These eels spend their lives swaying gracefully to and fro with their heads up in the water and their tails in their burrows. Several hundred fish live together in a colony, or garden, looking like evenly spaced plants blowing in the breeze. Garden eels are much slimmer than their close relatives, the conger eels. They are only about 72, 14 millimeters, in diameter and have very small, pectoral fins. The spotted garden eel usually has two large dark spots behind the head and many tiny ones all over the body. It has an upturned mouth that is designed to pick tiny planktonic animals from the water as the current flows by. Colonies of these eels occur only on sandy slopes that are exposed to currents but sheltered from waves. When danger threatens, the eels sink back into their burrows, using their tails as an anchor until only their small heads and eyes are visible. They are very difficult to photograph underwater because they can detect the vibrations from a scuba diver's air bubbles and will disappear when they are approached. Spotted garden eels stay in their burrows even when spawning neighboring males and females reach across and entwine their bodies before releasing eggs and sperm. Mixed colonies of spotted and white spotted garden eels sometimes occur. A large and powerful fish, with a deep body and an upturned mouth that extends far beyond the eyes, the tarpon looks like an unusually large herring. It is found in coastal waters and estuaries, and sometimes also in freshwater, and feeds almost exclusively on schooling fishes such as sardines, anchovies, and mullets. Its lung-like swim bladder enables it to overcome the occasional shortages of oxygen that occur in estuaries and similar kinds of habitat, by breathing air at the surface. It is a popular sport fish, and makes spectacular leaps when hooked. Between late April and August, adult tarpons move into open water to spawn. The transparent, eel-like larvae ultimately end up in estuarine nursery grounds, but also frequently occur in pools or lakes disconnected from the sea.